Hello everyone, and welcome. As a content creator, sort of, I've been playing around with some of these AI tools like Stable Diffusion and such, just to see if they could ease my, my work as a content creator when I do choose to do it. And I just got access to Google's Music LM AI song generator or music generator. And I've been taking a quick look at it, and it definitely isn't great. I got it to spit out a few things that weren't bad, but also some stuff that was terrible. So let's real quick just throw some prompts in here and see what it spits out. So we'll just try some basic rock and roll. This thing does. We don't hear any attempts at vocals yet, but when it does them, they're terrible. There were some vocals you could kind of hear in the background. Obviously, this thing can't generate people singing. It just tries to mimic the sound. And I kind of find that a lot of the tracks that this thing spits out are painful to listen to. But one thing it seems to do interestingly well is mix different musical styles. So let's just... Uh, there's a classical music uh, composer, I guess, named Vivaldi. Let's just throw in Techno Vivaldi and see what it generates for this. This is a little bit more classical than it is Techno. In fact, I'm not really hearing any Techno in it. Try reversing the two. Apparently, you can't double click to highlight in the prompt. I think the thing's trying to turn me into a liar here. I, I swear it did this earlier and it sounded like techno. But we'll just try putting the word as in there, see if it gets the message. Apparently not. We'll try jazz instead. I think I broke it. We'll just refresh the page. Um, okay. It is true, most of their examples are very descriptive. In fact, prompt examples they were giving earlier were significantly more descriptive and specific than these. Aside from this track being a whole account. Yeah, that was that was not good. So apparently this thing has decided it doesn't want to cooperate anymore. 
So apparently, this is still a beta. Google and their perpetual betas, they just don't call them that anymore. Actually, I think this one might have been called a beta. I mean, it's literally in Google's AI test kitchen. So, Melodic Techno. Let's try that. Does it actually produce techno this time? Funny how their prompt seems to work fine. All right, ambient sounds I would listen to by the ocean. How much you want to bet that this one works too? That is fairly soothing, isn't it? Interesting. Pretty much everything I enter comes out sounding terrible, but their prompts work pretty well. I guess you should model your prompts after theirs. All right, so let's try. I can spell properly. Vivaldi played by a techno band. Let's see if it gets the message this time. It's still just Vivaldi, or classical. It's not really Vivaldi, is it? That is so weird. It was combining musical styles earlier. We'll try techno that sounds like classical music. See what we get. Well, that's definitely techno. I'm not sure it's very good. I'm only trying to use that particular example because it actually turned out halfway as decent earlier everything else was horrible. We're going to try Vivaldi played by a 1960s rock band with no vocals. There you can hear a somewhat rock and roll beat in the background. Honestly, it sounds more like bluegrass than rock and roll. Anyway, I, you can kind of tell that it's not necessarily that great unless you use one of their prompts. I don't know what it takes to make good prompts for this. Again, their prompts seem to work okay. I kind of wonder if they entered a bunch of prompts just in testing and they wrote down you just made a list of all of the ones that worked well. And that's what these suggestions are. High pitched bongos, the ringing tones. Not bad. I have a feeling you'd have to do a lot of fiddling around to try to come up with prompts that work well.
That's also not bad. Try the Irish folk music. Yeah, that sounds like Irish folk music. Drums that sound like rain and thunder. Sounds interesting. It's weird how their prompts all seem to work really well. And if I type something in, let's just try rock music from the 1980s. That sounds terrible. I don't get it. Let's try the other track. It's not as bad, but it's still not good. And if we just some relaxing jazz, I'm sure it'll be fine. Obviously, Google still needs to do some work on this because it seems like any prompt that isn't one of their suggestions just doesn't work out well. Or maybe it's just that the thing can't do rock and roll. So let's try some smooth jazz from the 1930s. I don't know if it does eras or dates well. You may not understand them. That's actually not bad. So I guess it does jazz better than rock and roll. Now let's try some blues. Not that great. It's a little better. Does it have issues with guitars? You spell guitar. Actually, that I think it has issues with guitars. Does it have issues with all? Well, that time it highlighted when I double clicked. I wonder if it has issues with all string instruments. It's not the worst. I don't think it's quite as bad as the guitar, but it's not great either. 
I'm kind of wondering if it does have is issues with string instruments. Hold on, what's another one? Uh, how do you spell cello? I have no idea. Is it is it C E L L O? I think that was better than the violin. Still not as good as just some smooth jazz or maybe some polyrhythmic jazz. Actually, that kind of sounds worse, doesn't it? Let's try jazz with lots of horns. I think it's a little confused. See, what kind of horns do they use in jazz? Do, do they use trumpets? I know they use saxophones. How do you spell saxophone? I know that's how you shorten it. Is that actually how you spell it? It's not doing a particularly good job of that saxophone, is it? That's a little better. Well, here's an example of one of the longer prompts. Let's see what it sounds like. Seems to have done okay. But then again, it seems to handle all of their suggestions well. Well, anyway, it's interesting to play around with. I don't see it as something I'd want to use. Not for content creation. Maybe once it's matured a little bit and you can actually get better sounding stuff out of it. Oh, uh, by the way, you can download stuff. Downloads as MP3 files. 128 kilobit per second, so they're not particularly high quality. Which may be one of the reasons why they don't sound good. If, you know, the audio that this thing is playing in the browser is also 128 kilobit per second in P3, then that would explain why they don't sound that great. So maybe in the future when Google starts using a better audio codec and giving it a little more bitrate, 
because normally you'd want to do 192 kilobits per second or higher. I mean, and 192 kilobits is not high quality. So if you're going to use this for content creation, you'd probably want 320 kilobits per second or more. I mean, I'm recording this audio in like FLAC or something like that, some kind of lossless audio. That's normally what you want when you're doing content creation. And this is a far cry from that. So you can get some stuff that sounds OK, you know, with the prompts. And it's fun to play around with. It's just not quite there yet. But once this is available publicly, I'm sure it'll be halfway decent. Oh, and if you want to try this yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description. But it's AI test. Yeah, AI test kitchen dot with google dot com. So thanks for watching, everyone, and have a nice day.